Namaste. Welcome to part 3 of our video. Today I have Swaru and Anirudh join us and we will go through the yoga sequence for this week's practice. Now we will learn yogic breathing which is also known as functional breathing or 360 degree breathing. In this type of breathing, you breathe in and you expand your stomach and you breathe out and you contract your stomach. Okay? As kids, all children are used to this kind of breathing. But as they grow up, whenever there is an incident or an accident or they get hurt, they get accustomed to contracting when they breathe in. In fact, even as adults, you must, you can try that when you breathe in, automatically our stomach goes in, which is irregular type of breathing. Okay, so we will correct our pattern of breathing by placing our right hand on our stomach. And Anirudh here with me is going to demonstrate yogic breathing. Yeah, keeping your spine erect, shoulders relaxed, and you can allow your eyes to close, keeping a gentle smile on your face. Now take a deep breath in, expand your stomach, and breathing out, contract your stomach. Breathing in, expand your stomach. Breathing out, contract your stomach. One more time. Breathing in, expand. Breathing out, relax. Breathing in, expand. Breathing out, relax. Now we will go into Parvatasan. To go into Parvatasan from Sukhasan, you fix your eyes at one point, smile on your face, relaxing the shoulders, spine erect, breathing in, you lift both your hands up slowly and you go into a Namaste and all the time you are stretching your spine, eyes straight fixed at a point and you don't interlace your fingers your palms are joined gently and you put pressure from both your wrists towards each other and you relax your shoulders don't stretch your neck and shoulders relax lengthen the spine stay one two three four five five Four, three, two, one, and slowly you bring your hands down onto your lap. We will first begin with tree pose. For tree pose, you stand in Tadasan, which is shoulder level distance between your feet, and slowly breathing in, fix your gaze in front of you, lift up your right leg above your knees, and slowly. Take your hands up into a namaste and you hold the posture for 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And slowly breathing out, bring your hands down. And now breathing in, we lift the other leg up, bringing your hands to a namaste. Eyes are still fixed at one point and you breathe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if in between you lose balance, it's completely all right. You're just starting to learn and that's completely okay. Yes, Swaru? That's okay? Yes, it's okay. <laughs> How to go into warrior one? To move, go into warrior one asana, you first join your legs and then you take your right leg and place it approximately two and a half, three feet apart. As Swarupya is showing, you turn your right feet 90 degrees and your left feet is inside 45 degrees. Yes. Now breathing in, you lift both your hands up parallel to the floor, facing the sky and slowly bending your right knee. Bending your right knee. You look to your right and you stay there for 1, 2, 3, 4, five six seven eight and you slowly straighten your knee now bring the right feet inside 
left feet 90 degrees look to your left breathing in breathing out bend your left knee eyes are fixed at one point in front of you one two three four five six seven eight and you slowly straighten your leg and join them okay slowly as you practice and you get better and your hips start to open up you can also push your hips further down and go deeper into the stretch yes now you might be wondering why swaroop is sitting like this because now we are going to do which asan correct chakki chalana just like in olden times how we used to do it's one of the asana that's uh, listed in patanjali yoga sutras so for chakki chalana you open your legs wide and from here you interlace your fingers stretch out bend forward wait 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 <laughs> he's already started but we'll wait okay you go out you breathing out you bend forward and slowly from the clockwise direction you breathe in for half and then you breathe out for half and when you are doing that make sure your feet don't come up and they are flexed so engage your legs at all times engage your core at all times correct breathing in for half breathing out for half breathing in for half continue and breathing out for half breathing in for half and breathing out for half now from here we'll go reverse breathe in and out reverse breathe in through your nose keep your mouth closed and out breathe in and out and gently relax come to a sukhasan Fold your legs. You can do this 10 to 15 rounds depending on your capacity. So this was an impromptu and very beginner level video, and my students are facing the camera for the first time. So go ahead, watch the video, practice the asanas, and drop in the comment section which part you like the most. And in the coming videos, we will go deeper into the asanas and also get into intermediate and advanced level of videos. And Anirudh and Swaroop here have something to say to you. Thank you for joining our practice session. Thank you for joining our practice session, everyone. Namaste. Namaste.